it has to be some outside help from it, it wasn't just humans. They I, had to get the idea. I, yeah, from they had to get the idea from somewhere. Yeah, and I, that I, I full well believe. It. Now, whether it's a time traveler or because you know there is a theory out there that the the UFOs we see are time traveling humans from our distant future, but you know I don't, I don't know how plausible that would be. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. The UFO thing sounds kind of kind of strange until you think about how big the universe is and how many Planets, billions and stars. billions of years old this planet is and you can imagine you are billions and billions of years old. Fact. we are all stardust yeah very fact very yeah. fact but, big facts so i've yeah. always thought of you as stardust mm-hmm. but what okay like so it. i mean we we just don't know what's going to happen within the next 100 years that's why it's almost impossible for us to wrap our minds around some of the weird things that go on in this world and try to make sense of them because we are still very ignorant I mean, imagine if you were to go back in time and grab Christopher Columbus, bring him to today, and put him in a B-52 bomber or something like that. He would think that it's an alien spacecraft. It, he wouldn't be able to wrap his mind around it. Sure. So I, I know that the whole time traveling thing sounds very weird to people out there, but who knows what they'll have in 300 years. Yeah. I mean, hell, we went to the moon in 1969 we haven't even been a full hundred years since then Mm -hmm. and we're already talking about uh they're gonna have this one uh kind of drone like thing on mars and that's going to be the first thing to fly around another planet it's pretty wild you have to ask his theory on drones he thinks birds are drones no, I do not. Yes, who who knows? No, who knows? I, I really don't. And he thinks that they land gonna, on power I, lines I'm, to recharge themselves. I'm going to clear this up. I very much do not think that. <laughs> yes, yes, he does, ladies and gentlemen. Well, well, the thing is, man, whenever it comes to surveillance from the government, they've got us. Like, anybody who tries to go off the grid, good luck with that. It's almost yeah. impossible nowadays. They've got yeah. you hook, line, and sinker. They, they don't need... That's funny, like, whenever people's like, oh, don't get the vaccine, Bill Gates going to put a put, put a tracking device in you. They don't need to put a tracking device in you, dummy. They've got it right here. Yeah, yeah. They, yeah. Right here, they know exactly where you at. It, like, I used to have Snapchat, and Snapchat would, like, show you uh, the emojis of people and where they were mm-hmm. on the world. I could track people just from Snapchat. Imagine what the government can do. Absolutely. So, who well, and you have a you have a credit card, don't you? Exactly. That has a chip in it. Exactly. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, literally any... Do you have one? Yeah. You want to share that number? I don't. <laughs> okay. But, well, one thing that got a lot of people talking, though, and we mentioned this earlier, was uh, last year whenever the Pentagon released three videos that were supposedly unidentified flying objects. The one guy that said uh, they were otherworldly apparently came out afterwards and said, no, he didn't say anything like that. So, I mean, and... <sighs> If somebody would have had it on paper or video of it, that'd be good. But we just have to take his word on it now. Right. But we do know that the videos are real and that the government supposedly doesn't know what they are. What do you think about the three videos that were released last year? Also, it came around 420, too. So that might be why yeah. everybody <laughs> forgot about it. I mean, it was April. So uh, true. Yeah. Yeah, who knows? They, there might have been some good planning right there. <laughs> they probably teamed up with Snoop Dogg. Like, when would be a good time to release this when everybody forgets about it and won't remember it? 420. Yeah. <laughs> what, what do you all think about those three videos? I think though? it was advanced technology. Um, I think that it is possible. It was from uh, another world, but it's also at the same time very possible it's man-made UFOs. See, I think that it's man-made, and it's because of something that one of you mentioned earlier, going back to Bob Lazar. To me, that guy's just, like I said earlier, if he is a liar, then he is the best liar I've ever seen in my entire life. But And like y'all said too, some of the stuff that he mentions eventually comes to be true and one thing that he said in that documentary was that the craft rotated Mm -hmm. and in one of those videos you will see the craft rotating so uh, and like you said it may may be like man operated we may have just finally figured that out or who knows 